box of nails, yeah! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to How to Survive 2, a wonderful way to celebrate All Hallows Eve. Oh yes. Welcome to the Promised Land. Press select to display the map. Or tab. Your position is marked on the map, and so are the positions of the natives you can talk with. Don't be shy, go talk to them. They probably won't bite. Take advantage of that. Well, I, uh, don't see many natives around except for this walkie-talkie. Hey, oh, it's and you, Mr. Kovacs. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kovac. Yay! To meet you. You'll have to forgive me for this. Quite nice to meet you as well. Welcome. But we both know that these days unpleasant encounters are a dime a dozen. Surely. Even though I get the feeling there is a bit of electricity between us. Oh. I figure we should get to know each other one step at a time. See if we can work together. Sound good? You've got a yeah. deal, Mr. Kovac. So, Let's get this thing underway. So we shall. And it opens up Good. the little quest now log. And because multiplayer is implemented so into this game, you go into like an instance sort of individual game with your party members. Uh, so you're not able to just run amok and have a daisy situation where everybody's just killing everybody else. <laughs> I'm going to ask you so to I gotta go into the forest and uh, pacify some zombies. Going Get going. Thanks so much, Kovacs. You can trust me. Why do I call him Kovacs? His name is Kovac. No S. Here we are in the spoopy woods. Let's see. Can I get you, zombie? And yeah. Just barely got him. I think I ripped his nipples off with that fucking shot. Oh, I got a chocolate bar, too. Mmm. Kovac says, did you know you can craft? Yes, I did know that. Did you know you have an inventory? Yes, I did know that. Have you played How to Survive before? Yes. Many times. Ooh. Box of nails. You can climb on top of the cars in this one. I don't think you were able to jump over anything in the other How to Survive. And I played How to Survive and How to Survive Third Person, but ended up giving up on Third Person on my channel because I auto-saved myself into a corner. So hopefully, boom, that won't happen again. We can resist. Big piece of wood. So I'm finding lots of wood. I guess that's good. I'm not sure what it's used for. Yeah. Knock him out the box. Knock him out the box. And I'm finding lots of herbs, which is good. Because they were a little greedy with uh, the herbs in the last couple games. Oh my god, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. He didn't hurt me. <laughs> it looked like he was uh, going for a leap, though. Some nylon thread. If I could find a stick, I could probably craft a bow and arrow. And that would be useful, probably, perhaps, maybe. Just run around. Big piece of wood. Hmm, I got a big piece of wood. Yes. Stick. Wonderful, wonderful stick. I don't know how to open the, the crafting menu. It's all been changed. Fart. Maybe Kovac will show me eventually. But I got string and a stick. And I could hold the tilde key at any time to go back to camp now that we've completed our objective of five zombies. Seems like a good time for that. Although there's obviously some more goodies on the ground. If I did want to take my time and look around. But I don't. So quit. Seems kind of counterintuitive. But uh... When we go back right now, Kovac will be like, Oh great, you completed it. And that's like, yeah, kind of. Wow, you've accumulated tons of experience. It's almost indecent and definitely risky. If you don't spend your experience, you run the risk of losing some of them if you get the bad idea to up and die. Wouldn't that be a bummer? 
So the time has come to spend them all. Use them to raise the levels of your survivor or camp or to per purchase upgrades. Don't be a cheapskate. You can't take them with you when you go. Well, I'd like to level up my stuff. Inventory. Um. Wow. Wow. What is all this? Let's make some camp. Is that good? Did I do the right thing? I have no idea. I think my camp is level two. Good. Not bad for a rookie. Anyway, I think you just convinced me to welcome you. You Kovac City. Hooray! Not we can be sure friends forever! Like what do you think? I'm sort of hesitating between Kovac Grad or maybe Kovac. <laughs> I like Kovac. I want a name that's really unifying and well. That's yeah. right. Nothing more unifying than the fatherland. Don't <laughs> Going to accomplish great things together. We're bros, bro. First time in the city. So we're finally gonna get out of the woods and how to survive, which has been basically the whole thing for uh, the majority of the series so far. Uh oh. We can't get inside. Mechanism. <laughs> okay. It's Stupid mechanical luck. We can go find something to fix it in town. A bit of oil should do the trick. You should be able to find some in town. While you're there, you might as well collect as much food and drink as you can. I'll be waiting here for you. Oh my god, I'm so excited to go to town. Yay! Start the mission! Dude. Check it out, dude. We're in the middle of nowhere, brah. I got a fucking weird face. Why so serious? Why so serious? More nails. I wonder if I could make my back with nails. That would be a helpful thing, no? I think that guy almost hit me. Naughty, naughty. You're not allowed. Paving stone, but I can't go over that wall. So we'll just take a little jog. Why is this guy wearing fishnets? I'm really perturbed by this decision. And then you. Get him. And then you get that guy too. Oops. Didn't quite get him. There we go. No problem. Oh, big thanks to 505 Software and Echo as well. I forget which one's the developer and which one's the publisher. But they both had a hand in it. God damn it. And I'm grateful for them. Yes, sir. Let me get on this, this car. What are you gonna do about it? Not a fucking thing. Punk. Punk, suckle. I wanna Google shoot. Oh, wait. I want that though. Yeah! That'll do. And I got some white shroud flower. At least they're not calling it generic white plant anymore. That made me think of terrible things. Get him! God damn. Nope, nope, nope. We still haven't been hit. This guy's gonna hit me because I said something about it. Or not. I could just smash him in the face with a bat and then he dies. Maybe that works. He said I could find some oil in a store. But I haven't... Oh, wow. I haven't really seen anywhere that I can go into, particularly. Hmm, take some coins, because these are totally not useless after the apocalypse. You just smelt them into bullets. And then they're useful again. They found a purpose, you see? Uh-oh. Well, I think I can go in there. Is it a good idea? No, there's zombies everywhere. 
They're fucking swarming, bro. For no reason. Get out of here. Oh shit. Run, run, run. Okay. Everything's fine. Got it covered. Promise. Get him. Oh, fuck. Oh, I guess that guy's dead. Well, there was the hit. I don't understand how we could just let it happen. <sighs> oh well. Now they're dead. That guy that's dancing around is dead, I assure you. Orange juice, box of nails, bottle of oil. Got it, baby. So we could head back to the base. But I get the feeling that there's some more goodies that I should be scavenging in this town. Lead figurine? Psh, talking about melting stuff down, hell yeah. What am I gonna do with my new giant hunk of metal slag? <laughs> Make bullets. That's always the answer. Do you know how to make bullets? No. Do you know how to make gunpowder? That's basically the same thing. You just pack it down. Pack it down real good. And then the barrel will act like, uh, the bullet. The cartridge of the bullet. God damn it! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Get away from me! Oh, he got me. Piece of shit. Piece of shit! Piece of shit! <laughs> yeah, give me all your stuff. Some steel springs? wonder what those are for. Maybe I can make some silly bouncy shoes and get over the zombies' heads. And you! And you! That's not too bad. Just gotta get the rhythm down, see? Yeah, find that rhythm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, ask your lady. She wishes you did. <laughs> Hey, fuck you! <laughs> That's fun. Some coins. Delicious, yummy coins. I don't need my flashlight. Hmm. I think that's the place we just searched. How about up there? Yeah. That sounds like a good place to go. Oh, fuck me. Always zombies. Ugh. And me with only my mesh nylon t-shirt. <laughs> it's not gay, it's punk! <laughs> Same thing. Oh my god, where'd you guys come from? Jesus. Think that's cool? Unacceptable. Stay down! Oh, maybe they were behind the counter. Serving up some orange juice and wooden boards. Mmm-mmm. My favorite. And a can of mushy peas. A tin of mushy peas. Guess I should keep the uh, flashlight on there. What's this? Box of nails? Yeah. There's a shit ton of goodies over here. Even if the music is terrible. And makes me kind of scared. It's the same music as in the last How to Survive. Disorienting, freaky music. Alright. Just gave two places. I think that's good enough. Wait! Wait! Wait, no! <laughs> Box of nails, yeah! Alright. Tilde. Go back to camp with quit. Because it makes sense. So, friends, this has been How to Survive 2. We did see a little bit of the city. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.